I've never really encountered a problem where I turn on my tap and clean water doesn't come out. I think being able to work on these projects and understand that so many people lack uh, consistent access to clean drinking water. And so it's important to me because, I mean, clean drinking water is important to life. Meet Rahul, Heidi, and Jack. They've dedicated their time and efforts towards projects that better the lives of others. Engineers Out Borders is an opportunity for students here at Cal uh, to apply what they learn in their education and really take that and use it toward community-driven projects. While most students use their vacations to relax and unwind, students of Engineers Without Borders use every school break to travel and provide clean water solutions to underserved communities. I've gone down to Peru twice to work on the projects and you know we come in preparing so much for the entire semester. It seems like we have everything worked out, all the kinks have been figured out and then you know once we get down there nothing works and you have to kind of think on your feet and really work from square one. Um, but in the end once you've kind of figured out how the community works better uh, you can really make something great out of the project and you know the, the moments at the end whether it be seeing one of the kids at the schools where we built a rainwater catchment system drinking the water down there with a smile or seeing our filtration systems completely built um, those moments at the end are just completely worth all the work that we put in. Berkeley's Engineers Without Borders is not just for engineers but for students of all academic backgrounds. I've been able to meet um, a whole lot of other engineering majors besides just chemical engineering. Um, you know, in our chapter alone, we have bioes, uh, chemical engineers, electrical engineers, um, and even non-engineering majors too. Um, we have social science majors, and um, they're just as valuable as the engineering majors in our group. It's one thing to sit in a classroom and learn, but it's something far greater to go out in the field and apply that knowledge. I guess as an undergrad, you don't get to see your you know, your drawings and your problem sets be real, but um, going to Peru, like, it was real, and it was making a difference in these people's lives, and I really wanted to meet the people I was, like, working for and helping, and so um, that's why I wanted to go, and that was the best part about it. I realized, like, this, this is what I want to do, you know, I want to make a difference in these people's lives, and, like, I do this through engineering and through using my education to bring these like basic necessities that you know we take for granted and bringing them to them and yeah so it was probably like the best thing that I did in my undergrad experience. Cal TV would like to wish Engineers Without Borders all the very best in their future endeavors. Reporting for Cal TV, this is Raji Ramanathan. EWB rocks and we're super legit.